Clubhouse is brought to you in part by Toyota, moving forward. By EMC, where information lives. By Sports Authority, proud to be the official sporting goods retailer of the San Francisco Giants. And by GovX, the largest website for military and government discounts. Cooperstown, a tiny village in central New York of pure Americana. A peaceful rural town that would go unnoticed by any unsuspecting passerby. But within its city limits resides the soul of America's pastime, the National Baseball Hall of Fame and Museum. Since its creation in 1936, it has honored the legends that have played the game and provided a shrine for generations of baseball fans to reflect on the game's greatest moments. We have the bat uh, and the spikes worn by Bobby Thompson to hit the shot heard around the world. That's pretty cool. Around every hallowed corner of the hall is intertwined with the storied history of the Giants franchise. Roy Mays' glove from the 1954 World Series. Honoring the greats of the past, and the stars of today. Yeah, he was a rookie when they won. It was his first year when they won the series. Who's that? Who's that? I can't hold both of you. Buster Posey has handled everything thrown at him in his young career. That's why the Giants were eager to make Posey the face of the franchise for the next decade. Certain elements that give us a lot of comfort in making this kind of commitment. It's professionalism, work ethic, maturity, his character, the way he plays the game, and somebody that you really want to put a franchise around. Hard to put into words <laughs> what I feel right now. It's just an incredible feeling. Knowing that for the next nine years I'll be a part of this very storied franchise and I'm, I'm incredibly humbled uh, to know I'll be a part of that. Congratulations, Duff. Thanks, Bobby. Good work. Appreciate it. I think somebody that, that I, I want to mention, I think John Barr, who is our scouting director, who I've known for almost 10 years now, who's somebody that's kind of behind the scenes that we don't see a lot. And big thanks for him for, for scouting me back in college and, and giving me a chance to, to be part of this organization. His character on the field, just his work ethic. He knew that he was going to get the most out of his ability. When you look at Buster and you watch him, and we've watched him since high school, I had the pleasure of being able to be around him since then. He was very genuine, and you knew he was down to earth, and uh, you just knew that he was going to fulfill his tools, and that's why we, we thought he could be a difference maker, and he has been for us. John Barr has been the key man in charge of bringing young prospects into the Giants organization since 2008. The Giants baseball operations philosophy not only evaluates performance on the field, but also places emphasis on another tool they find just as vital. They have to give credit to, you know, John Barr and Dick Tidrow and the people in scouting and player development that really put a premium on character. I think there's six tools. You have the five tools of a player, but that six tool is that, that player's makeup. You want to see that player and say, can he fulfill his ability? Does he have the makeup? Does he have the work ethic to fulfill his ability? You know, the tough thing for everybody, including the player himself, is to marry that uh, man side to the the baseball side and then turn them even more into professional people on a day-to-day -day basis. It gets competitive out here. I'll start sweating in a second. For top Giants prospect Kyle Crick, the adjustment to professional baseball not only occurs on the field, but to new surroundings off it. Watch out, she's gonna make a break for you. Kyle's host family.